Rise and shine, brothers and sisters, your brother, G World, 7 underscore D. Um, do a quick video. Uh, I want brothers and sisters who are studying <clears throat> our true history. And I said this in a video before, in a past video. Stop going on these panels, arguing with individuals who want to remain ignorant. And that's most of these Pan-African panels. Because most of them have a deep sense of self-hatred towards themselves because they don't, they can't phantom that black people were around the world. That black people are indigenous the world. They only go and buy a narrative that was given to them by white folks or Negro scholars who were educated and trained by white folks what they told them 50 to 60 years ago, and they're still regurgitating that mess, man. They haven't updated their information. It's, it's really sad, but don't, I don't want you brothers and sisters, man, stop going to their panels, man. Stop going to their shows because you're wasting time. Don't waste your time on Negroes who want you to remain in neutral and ignorant. They want to remain in neutral and then hit reverse. No, you want to go forward. You want, don't waste your time with the Negroes. Because all you do is waste your time. All right? You just waste your time. Those Negroes are always telling you to go back to Africa, but they haven't left America yet. And they don't plan on leaving America. <clears throat> so it's a hustle game for them. So I, I really... Don't, don't, don't listen to that, man. Don't waste your time with that. I also want to say this, man. And I'm going to get back to that a little bit more. But this, it's, this, it's this chick on YouTube. Her name is African Dominion. This chick, man, makes slick comments about black Americans, and then she claimed to bring the African diaspora, which we're not, but bring, quote, the African diaspora together. And I'm like, okay, we're, we're not Africans, but okay, whatever, man. But, but this point is that she had a video where this little... I guess it's Nigerian dude from, a, he, he's American though. Made some stupid slick comments about black Americans along just, I guess the black conservative. These are two idiots, man. One was a black American, one was a Nigerian. And then she big up the video, man. And then, then this is the same chick that had the, the, the North Sudanese woman get up there and talk about black people don't know their history or black Americans don't know their history. And then she, she continued to make these slick ass comments, man. And then claim to be care about black people. Like the brother was trying to explain to her one time in one of her videos about who we really are. And then I think she went to Nakamizi. Because I think she's cool with Nakamizi. You know, and I couldn't stump the whole video, but I guess he was saying that black Americans are descended of West Africa. That's a lie. That means he, he hasn't really studied himself, man. Because he's going by the old outdated information, because he used to be a Pan-African himself, but that information is wrong, what he's given, and it's very dangerous what he's doing by saying that black Americans are descended of West African slaves. That's a goddamn lie. That's not true. I mean, I've done too much research, man, for years. That is not true. But unfortunately, many of our people want to remain ignorant and don't really truly study their true history. No, but this chick continues to insult Aboriginal black Americans, man. And it's really disgusting. But see, she's given, she's been given a pathway by Negroes who not only befriended her on that all that one universal we all black thing, man. I'm a we all one people. Man, I, I I think that man, she should just keep her mouth shut or just try to learn. But instead she insults black people with those black Americans with those videos, man. Those videos are very degrading. And I think some, some people in her comment section caught her ass out. And it's very, what she's doing is very destructive, but it's insulting. But you brothers and sisters here in America, man, you got to stop allowing foreigners to speak of your history, man, your culture. You have to stop allowing that, man. As long as you allow these foreigners to speak of your history, you're going to continue to have this mess, man. You're having all these foreigners speak of your history who don't really like you don't really know you, don't know nothing about your culture. But they're going to 
they go by what what they've been taught by white folks, or what you know some other type of misinformation they don't learn. And this is the sad part. But so many brothers, man, you you and sisters, you allow these individuals to make comments, and they, and really they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They shouldn't be speaking on the issues they don't know nothing about. And this this goes back to foreign blacks comment on Aboriginal Black American history and culture. And the general answer to that one, I says no. There's some who study it and know the truth. They can contribute, but on, on a general scale, no. Because it's showing a lot of them carrying that mindset of a lot of these non-black races. A non-Aboriginal Black American race. They carry that mindset. Now, and we don't need that. All right? You cannot sit up there and just say, oh, I'm black, even though I'm from somewhere else, and I don't know your circumstances or your history, deeply know your history, or not on that bloodline your history, is going to sit there and say, I can talk about your history as good or better than you. Get the hell up out of here, man. Those comments are in. So I think that Acho tried to get away with that mess, man. He was checked. You know, we, gotta, we can't, can't continue to do this, man. This is part of our problem. Once we get in control of all of our history, our intellectual property, once we, we have to control the narrative. I say we. I'm not talking about just uh, just general so-called black people. I'm talking about aboriginal black Americans. We need to control our narrative. We need to control that. Not outsiders, man. And so this is the continued problem you're going to have when you have people like that making slick-ass comments, man. Very slick comments, man. And I don't really, I think that personally, we should focus on us first and foremost. Stop. When you're talking about this Pan-Africanism, it has, it's basically been a disaster for so-called black Americans. We need to focus on our history here. I, I, we have a global history, don't get me wrong, our global history, but we need to focus on who we truly are lineage-wise here. Like I said before, stop saying that you are descendant of African slaves. That's not a history, man. That's, that's, that's some history that has been forced upon, upon us by outsiders who trying to who continue trying to rip off our true history. So we don't need individuals doing that. So I want you brothers and sisters to understand that. You know, when I hear stuff like that, it's very, it's very insulting. It truly is. It's, it's, it's insulting. But you allow individuals like that to come into our realm and to have an opinion, <clears throat> which they should not be able to speak on our issues. Like we should not be, we should not be going in their business. They should not be coming in ours. And, it, and this is something that, uh, unfortunately, man, we got too many people who have a deep sense of self-hatred of themselves because we've been taught to hate everything about ourselves, say we have no history, no culture, and then we have outsiders coming and telling us that, you know, damn lie, that's a damn lie because they try to imitate us globally. Come on, man. We got it. We got to really stop that. So I'm not one of them dudes who's going to be talking Pan-Africanism and then fusing that in with Aboriginal black. No, I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. That's disingenuous, dude. Because he, no matter how much you prove, information you document, and what you show, you're still going to have a bunch of Negroes who are going to deny this information because their level, their kind of thinking is that all black people just are in Africa. That's it. And the black people in America, we weren't here prior to 1619. That's the most ignorant type of thinking, but I'm telling you, a lot of uh, people who have our skin tone think that way. And it's very unfortunate. And so that's why I always emphasize we need to control our narrative. We need to control it not outsiders. We have to do that. And if we don't, and then we should not be ashamed to think that way. Why should we be ashamed if we want to control our narrative? We shouldn't be ashamed of that. But see, the individuals want to make us ashamed of being who we truly are in our true origins, in our true history. We should never be ashamed of that. We should be proud of that. 
And I'm proud to be who I am. And I don't need somebody to lump African on me to tell me that's where my history is. My history is here and the greatness of the Aboriginal blacks what they built here. This is my history. What goes on in New Orleans, that's my history. What goes on in Alabama, Alababu, that's my history. What goes on in Florida, that's my history. You know, that's my history. That's my culture. You know, and I don't need people telling me who and what I am. Telling me, and you know, it's funny though. It's really funny. Like I, I think I said it earlier, is that no one pulls that mess with the black people in Australia. Taught them so. Are they African Australians or are they African uh, Aboriginals? No, they wouldn't dare pull that because you know them black people. Oh, they would check them on that. They'll check them on that. That mess is always pulled on us, man. You need to ask the question: Why is it always pulled on us? Because deep down inside, there's a lot of these white folks and other people know who the original people in America were. They don't want you to know that. They want you to remain and say that you are African and say that you are a foreigner in your own land. But you'll never go out of outsiders and tell the black people in Australia that they're African. They'll never do that. That'll never be done. That's be totally disrespect. That's totally disrespect for them to do that. They'll never do that. But why is that done to us? So we gotta, you know, we gotta put a barrier, man. So no, you can't do this, man. You cannot come t- into our community and then tell us who the hell we are. No, man. No, no, that's not cool, man. And we got to stop having outsiders dictate who we are. So that's why I have a problem with a lot of you Pan-Africans. I think a lot of you guys are filled with hate, self-hate, and you talk to worship Africa. Man, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta back off, man. <clears throat> you gotta really back off because now that majority of our people are like uh, moving away from that. Thank goodness, we're moving forward, like, are getting our true history, and that's not no ADOS nothing like that. Cause that's I'm not no descendant of no slaves and all this stuff. Our people been here. Some of my people were slaves. Some of them were, but our land and our identity was stolen from us. All right, brothers and sisters, this is your brother G World. Seven underscore D. This is a quick video. Did my exercise, my running, did my walk down. I do some other stuff. All right, peace and love.